Let's go and evaluate the tangent of negative seven pi over six. The first thing we're gonna do is graph the angle negative seven pi over six. We know when graphing angles in standard form, the negative direction is going to be clockwise. We know that halfway around a circle is pi. In terms of a denominator of six, we could think about that as six pi over six. So seven pi over six or negative seven pi over six is going to be an extra pi over six past halfway around the circle. Now we know the reference angle in this case, which is the distance from the angle to the x-axis is pi over six. The reason why that's important is because this point has the exact same point of a angle at pi over six in the first quadrant. Now, what is this point in the first quadrant? This is going to be square root of three over two comma one half. So if we have an angle with the same reference angle, it's gonna have the same coordinate point, but you can see it's in the second quadrant. Therefore, I have a negative square root of three over two comma one half because we know x is negative in the second quadrant and y is gonna be positive. Now we just need to remember, well, what is the tangent of any angle? the tangent of your angle is gonna represent the y-coordinate over the x-coordinate of points that are on the unit circle. So in this case, my y-coordinate is going to be 1 half, my x-coordinate is a negative square root of three over two, and now all I need to simply need to do is simplify them. Well, since the numerator and denominator are both divided by two, I can simplify that to a negative one over the square root of three. Now I can rationalize the denominator, and I'm simply going to get a negative square root of three over three, and ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be the solution.